Welcome to iLecture Online, and here's lesson number one in algebra called Solving Linear Equations in One Variable. So the lessons, the way they're organized here is simply showing you some examples to illustrate different concepts in algebra. And when it says solving linear equations, solving means finding the value for x that makes the left side equal to the right side, and linear equations means that the variable x is only raised to the first power, which makes it linear. So there's a special technique that we use, which means we're going to isolate the x on the left side and move everything else over to the right side. So see how this is done. We look for all the terms that do not have an x in it, and we move that to the right. We look for all the terms that have an x in it, move that to the left. When we move things to the right, or move things to the left across the equal sign, the sign will change. So this becomes 3x equals 14, and we have a negative 7 on the left side that becomes a plus 7 on the right side. The next step is to combine like terms. So on the left side we have a 3x, on the right side we combine 14 plus 7 which is 21, and then the next step is to divide both sides of the equation by the numerical coefficient, the number in front of the variable. So we divide the left side by 3, divide the right side by 3, these cancel out, we have x equals 21 divided by 3 which is 7, which is the answer. That makes the left side equal to the right side. Our next example, do the same thing. All terms that have an x in it stay on the left. Any term that do not have an x in it go to the right. So this becomes minus 2x equals 21 plus 7. Remember, when we cross the equal sign, the sign changes. Now we combine like terms on both sides. 21 plus 7, that's equal to 28. So we have minus 2x equals 28. The last step is to divide both sides by the numerical coefficient, the number in front of the variable. And so we do that on both sides. So we have x equals, remember, negative 2 cancels out here. We have x equals negative 14. Our next example, there we have terms with x's in them on both sides of the equation. We want to move those to the left side, and any numbers that do not have an x in it move to the right. So the minus 5 moves to the right, the 2x moves to the left. Remember, whenever you cross the equal sign, the sign changes. So this becomes 4x minus 2x equals minus 31, and that becomes a plus 5. Combining like terms, 4x minus 2x is 2x, that equals minus 31 plus 5, which is minus 26. The last step is to divide both sides by the numerical coefficient in front of the x. So the 2's cancel out, we get x equals minus 13. That's kind of a bad looking, that's a bad looking equal sign. Let me make it a little bit better. So we have x equals minus 13. Next example here, again, the object is to move all x's to the left side, all numbers to the right, so the 8 goes to the right, the minus 2x goes to the left, it becomes 6x plus 2x, remember when we cross the equal sign, the sign changes, this equals minus 12 minus 8, because the plus 8 becomes a minus 8 when it crosses the equal sign. Now we combine the, the same term on both sides of the equation, 6x plus 2x is 8x, and a minus 12 minus 8 is minus 20. Divide both sides by the number in front of x. So now we have x equals 8 goes in 20 exactly 2 and a half times, so minus 2.5. Our next example here, we move all the terms that have an x in it to the left side. All the terms do not have an x in it to the right. So we have a 6x minus 8x equals 11. Remember, when the minus 5 goes across, it becomes a plus 5. We have 6x minus 8x, that's a minus 2x, equals 11 plus 5, which is 16. Divide both sides by the number in front of the x, minus 2 minus 2, that cancels out, x equals minus 8. And finally, the example here, move all the x's to one side, move all the numbers without the x to the other side, so we have 2x plus x, remember when you cross the equal sign, the sign changes, that equals 11 plus 3, and 2x plus x, that is 3x, that equals 11 plus 3, which is 14. Here we divide both sides by the numerical coefficient in front of the x. The 3's cancel out, so this is e x equals 14 over 3. And there you go. That's the example of how you solve these simple linear equations in one variable. Always move all the terms that have the variable in it to one side, move all the other terms that don't have the variable to the other side, combine like terms, then divide both sides of the equation by the number in front of the variable, and you get the answer. Okay, on to the next lesson.